morning. Thanks for waking up with BT 744 here on your Thursday. I'm Meredith Shaw and small businesses are crucial to our economy. In 2022, 98% of Canadian businesses were small businesses. Here to tell us more about the different types of coverages businesses need to consider is Vice President at TD Insurance, Steve Lauren. Welcome to BT, Steve. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you here. I mean, so many uh, small business owners are, are your big BT viewers, so this is going to be really need to know information. Let's great. start off with the basics. I mean, sure. what is that small business insurance and, and why do they need it? Yeah, so small business owners should look at business insurance as a tool that's there to protect something they've worked so hard to create. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, business insurance, it's a form of financial protection that allows for continuity in your business in the case of a covered event such as a fire, theft, or, you know, a collision or an accident. Um, so say you're a baker and your shop gets broken into, they take your register and what's in it, damage some equipment or you're a contractor and you get into an accident. Mm -hmm. Having the right business insurance is really critical to make sure that your business is protected with these types of events. Yeah, and so often, you know, you're an entrepreneur, you have that entrepreneurial spirit and you're focusing right. so much on what you actually have to do day to day. Uh, you know, maybe this isn't something that you've considered before. So the main right. business insurance coverages to consider are what? So first off, you have commercial property insurance, which covers you for loss and damage to your commercial property. This would include contents as well as equipment. You have commercial auto, which is there to protect you know, commercial vehicles, your cars, vans that you have registered to uh, your business. And uh, then you also have uh, commercial general liability, which protects you against financial claims uh, coming from a third party, say for a slip and fall, mm. or you damage someone's house when you're out on a job. And what if, uh, you mentioned a little bit about vehicles there, if you, if you have your personal car and yeah. you're making deliveries in, in that way, how does that insure, do you need business insurance coverage on that or is that come through your personal or how does that work? Yeah, so a bit of misconception on here and okay. what this is, so glad I could provide a little bit of clarity on it. Yeah, let's um, clear it up, Steve, right sure. now. So <laughs> we'll see what I can do. Huh? <laughs> uh, the reality is it, it really depends. And if you're using your vehicle for commercial purposes, you may not be covered. Um, so for example, if you're using it, you know, you're out picking up materials, you're out doing deliveries, the amount you're using the vehicle and the risk that you're taking is elevated. So having actual commercial auto insurance, the best thing that you can do to protect you and your business to ensure you're covered, mm -hmm. uh, as well as any of your employees might be covered in the event of an accident. And uh, same thing potentially applies to our home, like what if we're using some of our home for our yep. business? I know there's all sorts of tax implications there. Yep. But what about the insurance implications? Yeah, so most home insurances will cover you for a small business at home, uh, but the coverage levels are, are different. Um, you know, so another example, if you have a fire, and as a result, you're not able to work out of your home, you have a loss of income during that period of time, your personal insurance might not cover that. Where if you have business interruption insurance, you can continue to have that income flow in your business while you're dealing with the fire that might have happened in your home. Mm, that's good, need to know info. Uh, we got about less than a minute left, but sure. let's talk about savings. How do we save yeah. on our business insurance, Steve? Yeah, so with TD Insurance, you can save up to 15%. There's three different ways that you can do that. So first off, if you combine your commercial property and commercial auto insurance, uh, you can save from there. If you're one of our uh, eligible alumni or professional groups that we work with as well. And finally, if you're an existing TD customer, you also get another discount on your insurance. Okay, good ways to save right there. Uh, Steve, where can people find out more info about everything that you were just talking about? Yeah, best thing, reach out, have a conversation with one of our licensed advisors. It's really important to have those conversations. They can walk you through the flexible options we have. And we really want you only to pay for the coverage that you need for the insurance that you're looking for. Uh, best way to start is at tdinsurance.com uh, forward slash small business. Fantastic. Steve Lauren, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. First